All right, this is part two of the Getting Started with SwiftUI series. Let's go zippity doo! Okay, this is right where we left off in part one of this series, Getting Started with SwiftUI. So, if you have not watched part one, head over there really quick, watch part one, come back over and watch part two, which is this, Getting Started with SwiftUI part two, where we're going to be talking about views like a text view, a button, list, things like that. All right, let's get into new views today. So let's comment out this text view here. But before we do, a quick reminder that anything in between these curly braces for this body will be shown on the screen. So we've got a text view here inside these curly braces, and that is why it is showing on the screen here. Check out the canvas. Nice. Now let's move on. Let's comment out this text view and try something new. How about a button? Because those are used everywhere in apps, right? So let's hit enter on this first one that says action label. It's like that. And we'll just by default put in, by default, for now, we'll put in some curly braces right here for the action. Hit tab over here for the label and hit enter. So there's some stuff right there we need to delete. I'm sure they'll get rid of this by default in Swift UI in a future version really soon. So for now, I'm gonna do Command Option Enter to hide the canvas so you can see that right after this curly brace, we'll just delete everything. And Command Option Enter, open up that canvas again. Okay, anything in between these curly braces for this button, anything you put in here, that's what the button will look like. So let's put a text view there. So we'll say, hello world button, just like that. So anything you put in these curly braces here is what will happen when you tap the button. That's why it has this action label right there. So let's go ahead over here. See this, it says failed to build scheme, getting started series, try again, diagnostics. That's because I was taking too long to put something into this body that could be built and shown on the canvas. So now that there is something, got this button, let's go over here and hit try again. Build succeeded, there's our canvas. Okay, check this out. Now we've got the default iOS button right there. It's this blue button. We can't interact with it though because we're not in the live preview yet. So I want you to see that we can still make changes like I mentioned before in the other video. See if I delete button, let's do hello world. There we are. The changes reflect over here in the canvas. I'll hit command Z and put that back and here we are, hello world button. So we still see the live changes. We're just not doing a live kind of interactive preview. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit the play button right now. You can see that my cursor is now a hand. And so I can interact with this button. See that? So let's make this button do something so you can see it actually work. So let's hit stop for a second. Zoom this out a little bit. And come over here to the action curly braces. And we'll just put a print statement in here for now. Let's have it say something like, Amazing. Come on, zing with an X? Hey, that was fancy. All right, amazing. Now, the thing we need to do to make sure we can see this print statement in the console is go like this to the live preview button and right click this time. See, it says live preview or debug preview. Let's select debug preview. Now, that will still be a live preview, but we'll be able to see the print statements down in this console. Command Shift Y, we'll open that console up, and we'll clear it out with the trash can. Now, we've got our cursor here that's a hand, so we can tap that button. And look at that. amazing a zing right? It is. Let's keep tapping that button. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, that is cool. All right, now let's move on to the next view. Let's close that console, Command Shift Y, and we will comment out this button. So look at that, we've already gone through a text view, a button. Now what's the next thing that you'd think, hey, I gotta see how this is done in SwiftUI because it's used in every app. That would be a list. So let's type list. Open up the parentheses and see this one that says content. Hit enter, and this is highlighted here. Looks like a closure of some sort, right? So let's hit enter. Look at that. This is gonna be the coolest thing you've ever seen. Because watch this. Let's make a static list here. Let's uh, 
what am I saying here? Let's copy this text view, <laughs> Command C, and come over here to the list right here where it says code. I'm gonna paste that in right there. Text, hello world. Look at this on the right in the canvas. There is our list. And we're still in the live preview, so look. We're interacting with this list. And this is, yes, a static list. We can get to populating it with um, an array of stuff in a later video. But look at this. Let's paste in text again. Watch it update. Well, that's cool. Paste again, 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 again. Look at that. I'm going to hit the stop button. Maybe it'll be a little faster. But look how cool that is. Uh, I mean, making a static list like that, how easy was that? We've, you can see we already have our list separators here and kind of a default alignment of everything that's in the rows. So that's really neat. So they just give you this default implementation that's just set up already for you to make a cool list. All right, you got to see this. What if we wanted to change this list into a scroll view? Would that be pretty hard? The answer in SwiftUI is no. Look at this. Let's highlight list and we will say scroll view. Check it out. We changed it from a list to a scroll view. Now you might be thinking, whoa, that's not cool. Look what it looks like here in the canvas. But that's just because a scroll view is really, it can be anything, right? A list is usually for, you know, listing things out, but, you know, it is a list. It has like a default implementation of, hey, let's justify things to the left, give some row separators there. But then with the scroll view, look what you get for free. By default, look at this. Let's hit the live preview button again. Okay, here we are. Look at this. I'm already scrolling with this scroll view. I didn't have to mess with content insets or anything special like that. All I did was change one word. Let's do it again. Let's change this to a list. Boom, look at that. I already have a list. Change it back to a scroll view. You get the idea. Look how easy that is in Swift UI. Take a minute to appreciate how amazing that is, how fast that is. So in another video, what we're gonna do is we're going to get into how to make each view look different or stylize it. So for example, this text view, you can see here it's centered. So we wouldn't really want that in a scroll view. I mean. Who knows? You can want anything in a scroll view, but if we were wanting the same look as a list, you know, we'd want to left justify this text view and do whatever else, right? Make the text look bold or a different color or something like that. So we will get into that in another video, the next video. So I hope you liked this one. And if you liked this video, like it. There's a like button for that. And hey, what do you do when you love a video? You consider subscribing, silly. All right, stay tuned for part three. See ya.